Hi Gemini, welcome to your singles reading. Who's coming towards me for the month of December? This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Okay, Gemini, we're going to look at here who may be coming towards you. So we're going to pick up a couple signs. Then we're going to look at their energy. Who are they? What are they like? And we'll also look at um, when and where you could meet this person and how. Uh, we're going to get a time frame also, time of the year. And then we'll get what kind of connection it will be, advice for the connection. And we'll pull more tarot on top of that. So this is intended for now until whenever you, you know, whenever you see this, until whenever. I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So uh, whenever you see this, it'll be out before Thanksgiving. So uh, but it is labeled for December, but it's for whenever. So uh, being that said, happy early Thanksgiving. All right, so I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. Okay, so Gemini, take what resonates, throw away the rest. I could pick up past, present, future. All right, so let's see Gemini. A couple signs for Gemini. Who's coming towards Gemini? So we have Sagittarius, and we have Neptune, which is um, Pisces. So we have Sagittarius or Pisces with the Neptune there. So we have fire and we have water. And now Neptune is all about imagination, compassion, um, like psychic, spiritual experiences, balancing kind of energies. So I don't know if we'll see uh, that plays into your reading in some way. And you know, this could be someone you already know, somebody you're dating. If you're not committed to anybody, this is intended for someone who is not in a committed relationship. So even if you're just dating somebody or you like somebody, maybe their energy will come through or it could be someone totally new that you don't even know. Or somebody could like you that you have no clue that they like you. All right. So Gemini, let's see. Let's see, Gemini. Who is this person? What is their energy like? For Gemini spirit, please. Thank you so much. Who is this person coming towards Gemini? What is their energy like? Who are they? All right. So we may have somebody here with the Four of Swords energy um, that may have been they may have been alone for a while. They may have um, gone through something they need to uh, needed to heal from. I feel like just somebody, and that's actually. Um, air energy which are an air sign but this is their energy so yeah I feel like somebody here who because the four of swords is all about I mean they could have just been sick and they're healing from that they could have been in the hospital or they just took some time for themselves they went on vacation they went on a retreat they could have healed over something here uh, just took some time for themselves they could have just been alone for a while here and just, you know, concentrating on themselves, quiet time. All right, so let's see. I feel like somebody who likes things calm, peaceful, quiet. They don't like a lot of drama um, and things like that. All right, so let's see when, like time frame, time of year, Gemini, that you could meet this person. So we have Autumn. So we are in autumn right now. So um, if it's not this autumn, or if you just didn't meet somebody um, this autumn, then it might be next autumn, but definitely here we have fall time. Okay, so with the 10, I'm getting like October, end of October, October-ish, but it doesn't have to be. But um, as I know we're in November and we have about one month left of fall, so all right, so let's see where, like, where you could possibly meet this person. So we could, it could be at a celebration. It could be at a wedding. It could be um, at an anniversary party, some sort of celebratory event here. Um, you know, the Forest Springs does usually represent, like, weddings and parties and um, ceremonies. So it could be at a, some sort of ceremony or wedding or something like that. Could be an outdoor wedding. They'll be kind of cold right now. Um, maybe you had to travel. Maybe you have to travel to go to a wedding coming up like within the next month. 
and you may meet this person there. Maybe I'm getting like with the castle in the background, like um, Scotland, Ireland, like overseas, like you may have to even, you know, like England or something like you may have to travel overseas, like going uh, to a wedding or something like that. And you may meet this person there. Doesn't mean that they're going to be from a different country. They could be traveling to the wedding also. Maybe you have no clue who they are. All right. So let's see when. Well, that. Well, we got when, where. So how. How will you meet this person? So fall energy again. So. They could be part of the, uh, they could be a part of the um, wedding party because you see this man dressed up. So they could be part of the wedding party, but you don't even know who they are. And uh, it could be man, woman, doesn't matter. So yeah, it could, they definitely could be part of the uh, wedding party. And uh, I don't know, that's how you meet them somehow. Maybe you're part of the wedding, and well, you would know them if you were both in the wedding party. Um, or they, you know, I don't know. So that's what I'm getting, though. Part of a wedding party. Or maybe they're the DJ or uh, part of the band. Maybe the lead singer of a band um, or something like maybe they own the place where the function is at and they happen to be there. Because the king to me is somebody kind of like authority. So, so could be like the owner of the facility. Could be like the, um, or something like that. If it's catered, maybe they own the catering company. Uh, maybe they're uh, the band leader or they are the DJ or something like that. Or they're part of the um, wedding party. Hmm, okay. They could be the photographer. It could be any anything here. All right, so... I feel like you kind of you kind of be looking at each other like all night, like just looking at each other, looking at each other. And they may ask you to dance, or you ask them to dance, and that's how it gets started. Wow. Okay. So, I see a lot of of uh, stability, and I see passion. Well, I see more stability than I do passion. So, okay. Let's see. And we have two fours, which is about stability. So, and the Ten of Pentacle energy is, you know, that total home, uh, family, dynamic, legacy of a family. Uh, somebody, I feel, that won't be afraid to commit. Um, okay. They might have been single for quite a while here, and now they're ready, ready for something new, or both of you. So let's see this connection, what kind of connection will it be between you and this person? So we have here, what's your thoughts? It's important to only think about what you, what you desire, not what you fear. So you both, you know, because we do have the four of swords there. So maybe, you know, you know, maybe you're, you're both ready to venture into something new or you or them, but yet again, you still have some fear in the back of, uh, or maybe them in the back of their head because of whatever they had to heal from over here. It takes some time alone and recuperate from. And maybe they still have that lingering in the back of their head a little bit, even though they feel they're ready. You know, once they start to get close, they may be like, mm, you know, might make like second thoughts or just, you know, rehashing, rethinking, you know, things from the past. Could you, you, them, both of you, you know, we could have both went through the same thing individually, come together and realize, hey, I went through that too, you know. So this is telling you, though, that you just need to concentrate on the good things and not the things you fear. To watch how you're thinking. But let's get your advice for this, Gemini. Let's get your advice for this person coming into you your blessings so yeah I feel like watch your thoughts and count your blessings this is a blessing in disguise it's a blessing in disguise so watch that negative thinking um, 
thinking back of the past, either you or them. Um, the past is the past. And I do think this is a faded meeting here. It's a blessing. And I see a lot of stability, a lot of stability, practicality. But there's also passion. And we get the water here for emotions and feelings. So let's get some tarot on this too. Bring a little more clarity into this incoming person, the Gemini single. So I do ask Gemini, if you do like how I read, if you're new, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments if you subscribe. I do four different readings every month for all the signs. So you can check out my channel, see what I have to offer. If you like what you see, please do subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. And you can check the description box below. Lots of information there, how to book a personal reading, um, decks I'm using, there's tons of stuff down there. So you can check that out too. And just a shout out to everybody who supported the channel. Thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. So any support you give me or the channel is greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, so let's get a few more tarot here. This is a big tarot deck, but it's beautiful. Beautiful tarot deck. This is the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. Decks are listed below. Playlists are listed below. I just had a card flip. All right, let's get another one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get one more. Seven seems to be the magical number. And then we'll do the bottom of the deck. So let's see what we have here. The tower. So this has been coming out a lot here. Yeah, so I definitely feel like here you, them, or maybe the both of you separate from each other. Definitely something broke down here that had uh, caused healing, retreat energy, you know, thinking, contemplating, healing, and recuperating energy from something that crumbled down. Either you, them, or the both of you independently could have went through something here very similar. Six of fire. So there's success, victory here. Very passionate energy again. So very successful uh, moving forward. And the Six of uh, Wands energy here usually shows the wreath on the wand, like an offer. So this definitely could lead to something more, definitely to commitment or something like that down the road. Love. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Lover's energy here. Wow. So yeah, definitely love here. So now we have love. We have stability. We have passion. Wow, so love, successful love here, successful love. <laughs> wow, after something came crumbling down, either with them, you or you both had something end, now you're both successfully going into this love union, soulmate energy with the lovers here. Three of fire, yeah, both kind of waiting, you know, took the time alone to recuperate and heal and now just kind of waiting for the right time to venture out. Venture out and get on the ship there. Venture out to something new. And now we have the messenger air, which this is the um, knight of air in this deck. So this may move along very quickly. The knight of air rushes in very quick. So I feel like, because now you have, you know, waiting, patiently waiting to go in this new direction and then just going for it very quickly. So I feel like, you know, been waiting patiently very long time, either you or them, for this like, perfect love to come in. Here it is. I've waited for it. It's coming in now. So now it's moving forward very, very quickly with the Knight of Air Energy. And then what do we have here? We have Justice. So we have, you know, things balancing out, fairness, balance, um, truth, clarity, justice prevailing here in this connection. Now, whatever you felt like or them was an injustice in the past, on past relationships now with this relationship justice will be served and it'll be a successful love wow but we have high priestess energy here this is about listen to you got your intuition your higher knowing um sometimes a high priestess keeps secrets it doesn't really say much so you know this is really uh listening listening for some reason for you with your gut and your intuition about this. You may intuitively know this is your person. Like, okay, I know this is the one. Uh, I'm just looking at the 11 here, so it could possibly be even a twin flame situation. Because um, we do have the four of spring there, which would be the twin flame card. So you may know that before them that, okay, this is my person, my soulmate, my twin flame. Um, 
energy here. So let's see what's on the back of the deck, uh, bottom of the deck. So we got the nine of ears. So there's a little bit of stress and worry here. And I do think it's about um, watching your thoughts over past, things of the past, having a little bit of stress and anxiety, um, worrying, oh, what if this turns out like my past relationship? What if it doesn't work out? What, you know, having all those fears running around in your head. But it's telling you to get step out of that fear. Don't pay attention to that. Watch your thoughts. Just count your blessing. Realize this is a blessing in disguise. It is a true love soulmate. Be very successful here. I think it'll move very quickly. Justice will be served in this soulmate energy. And just listen to that energy and listen to your intuition and not those mental thoughts. Listen to your heart, not your head. That's what I'm getting with that. Wow, Gemini. Okay. Um, good luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.